Hey, what's up guys? My name is Elias and welcome to the 25th tutorial on jQuery. And in the previous tutorial we styled these two arrows and what we want to do now, we want to uh, do the right arrow clickable so when we click on the right arrow the next image should appear on the screen. And we already uh, create selectors for, uh, for it in jQuery and now we want to use all the power of jQuery uh, to provide this switch. And if you use normal JavaScript, it would take you like uh, lots of lines of code to uh, do such a task, but jQuery is a very powerful tool, so you can solve this problem having only a few lines of code. So, the first thing I want to do, I want to figure out how do I grab the next image. And if you see, we have, we have this list images inside of this unordered, I mean, we have this list elements, inside of this unordered list element and um, right now when we click at an image we use um, the we use this selector so we basically uh, track the current image which was clicked but in order to proceed to the next one we need to uh, we need to get this li element so we need to we need to capture this list element so it's basically we have to grab the parent element of this image element in order to go to the next list element well it sounds very complicated but uh, it will be very clear when I will just start programming so um, we have to uh, add some uh, uh, some new variable and I already uh, added this variable I uh, named it current li and this current li will uh, contain the link to the to the li element which which um, owns the image which was clicked alright so let's set current li equal to this dot parent so we have um, we have this li element and image element inside of this li element right and uh, this image element is stored in this this reference and we want to get to this, this li element and we do that using um, this parent function so in the variable current li we stored the link to this parent element of the image which was clicked and right now we can take advantage of, of, of this of this variable and we can we can basically uh, fetch the next list element so let's just go ahead and do that um, let's say uh, let's define a new variable I'll just call it next li and set it equal to current li dot next so this is how jQuery works you use the small keywords and they do magic for you. So now we have the next list element which contains the next picture the next picture in this next li uh, variable. So and then of course we want to select the image and so if you want to select the image you just say next li dot children and you, you can just type img because it contains only uh, one image but that's not it we uh, want to get this images source so um, you just can say dot attr which stands for attribute and let's just fetch its source like this and um, of course we would we better create a variable for it so I'll just create a variable and call it next src which which stands for next stores and then we can um, grab the main the main image which is uh, this image in the frame which is this image so we selected this image and set its source attribute to this next source alright yep now we can go ahead and test this this functionality well 
it maybe it sounds kind of complicated, but if you do it a few times, you'll get the idea and it will uh, seem very easy to you. So that works, but if I want to uh, switch to the next one again, it doesn't work because um, I have to update this current li value because now this current li is pointing to the li element from the first click. So let's just update the current li. Current li and set it equal to the um, next li. And now we ha we have to be able to switch between the images. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it works perfectly. So uh, we now we uh, added this functionality so that you can switch to the right. And the next tutorial will add some cool stuff too. And we will uh, also add the functionality of going to the left, which will be very easy and. So I hope you guys learn new stuff and this tutorial sounded kind of tricky but um, don't worry if you don't understand everything. If you just, as I said, do it like two or three times and uh, practice a lot, you will uh, get the idea of it very easily. So I hope, I hope you guys liked it and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.